You know, they say that there is a very thin line between genius and madness. Um, and today, I would like to walk that line with all of you. So, here's a fun interaction that I recently learned about. You guys know about Gigantamax Charizard and how powerful it is, right? Effectively, Gigantamax Charizard sets a burning field which does one-sixth of foe's HP for four turns. Now, here's the thing. This burning field, or this wildfire, excuse me, is not the same as the burning field that one gets when Fire Pledge is combined with Grass Pledge. So, today I am here to present to you my masterpiece. Starting off, we have Explosion, Protect, Grass Pledge, and Imprison Savali Normal. Um, you imprison the Protect and then you go boom, it's very simple. Next up, we have Life Orb Charizard, Gigantamax, Solar Power, now legal. Protect, Fire Pledge, Air Slash, and Solar Beam. So far, so good, right? Then we have Modest, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Quick Claw, Torkoal. That's pretty standard, so I don't want to talk about it too much. Then we have Primarina. So as long as we're, we're stacking all these pledges, the Swamp is very good. The thing is, Torkoal is fast in the Swamp if it's Max Speed. And it is Max Speed, and we're going to set a Swamp up. So it's going to be fast and not speeding stuff. Then we have Scarf Venusaur, just in case we need to, uh... We need to use pledges fast. Here's the way pledges work. When Venusaur goes for Grass Pledge, even if Incineroar, for example, is slower and like slower than the opponent's Pokemon, Grass Pledge, like the first pledge, automatically calls the second one to activate. So Scarf Venusaur will allow me to fire off these powerful moves like really quickly. Um, yeah. So then we have Incineroar with Choice Specs, okay? Fire Pledge, <laughs> Blast Burn, Dark Pulse, and Snarl, and that's the whole team. Anyway, this team is broken and I'm about to roll some fools with it. Um, I haven't played any games with this, I didn't test it at all, I just knew it would work, so I didn't... Actually, yeah, they can look. I want them to see what's been done to them. So, Incineroar... Sure, I'm using Incineroar, right? But you have to give me some... You have to cut me some slack, because I'm sure that, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sure that nobody is gonna be ready for choice specs Incineroar. Let's jump into it. Let's walk right into it slowly. Oh man, I'm excited. An opponent and trainer has been found right away. Let's see what they have. Emily, this is probably a Gloza. Ooh, a Gloza. He might be streaming. Okay, cool. So here's the thing about a Gloza's team. He doesn't have... He doesn't have... He doesn't have... Oh god, a Gloza. Alright, we're gonna do these two up front, and then in the back... I have options. I think I just do Torkoal Charizard. I think I'm just gonna do Torkoal Charizard. Uh, I don't really have anything for... Um, Chirenitar, but I, I don't care about that. He could do, like, Durant stuff for sure. Durant stuff would be kind of annoying. Um, yeah, that'd be kind of bad. Durant Togekiss would be really bad. Uh, I'm hopeful that he won't do it, though, because, um, <laughs> I hope, I, oh, I hope I, I hope I beat a Gloza with this. That'd be so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I hope I beat a Gloza with this. God, that would make me so happy. Good luck, have fun to Alex Agloza. Oh, he's streaming too. Oh my god, that is so funny. What's Agloza gonna do? He's got no Specs and Cinnamon answer. Look at his team. Nothing on his team wants to take Specs and Cinnamon. What do you want me to say? I'm about to scarf myself and specs myself into pledges. <laughs> Alright, good luck have fun to 2014 national champion, Alexander Aglozard. Alright, Agloza, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Give me something bad, Agloza. Give me something bad. Come on. Token is Arcanine. Oh, perfecto. Ooh, perfecto. Okay, perfect. Oh, he might- it's gonna be offensive Togekiss. It's gonna Dynamax on me, which is fine, honestly. Actually, this might be a bad lead. This might be a bad lead. Oh well, let's hit him with Specs Incineroar. Let's hit him with Specs Incineroar. The thing is, if Token gets Dynamaxes, what that means is that... Grass Pledge. And the Fire Pledge. <laughs> um, yeah, I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. I mean, the thing is, he doesn't know that I am... He doesn't know I don't want to sleep powder here. 
That's kind of my one my one saving grace. I also don't know if he's gonna expect Specs uh, and Cinderella right here. I will guarantee get my Wildfire off unless he protects, which would be kind of bad. But I got Intimidate off, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's see. Worst case scenario is he Dynamaxes Togekiss and goes for Max Airstream. He pro if he's leading this, it looks like Arcanine's gonna be supporting. Oh, we didn't do it. Specs and Cinderella Fire Pledge! <laughs> <laughs> that did so much damage! I did so much damage. Alright, what's it going for? Flamethrower. Oh, special. Right, hang on, okay. That's fine. Air Slash. They double Venusaur. Okay. The Glows are double the Venusaur. And now, it's pledge time, baby! Hit them both. Hit them both? That's unfortunate. Um, now here's the problem. I didn't really, I don't really have anything for Tyranitar, who's inevitably going to come in, or is, you know, uh, which is which is a little unfortunate. Um, I have two options here. Mm, yeah, Tyranitar in the back kind of rolls me, doesn't it? Because he can just follow me and yeah, it's kind of bad. Because I, I could switch to Torkoal, of course. Yeah, I think I lose. Unfortunately, I don't think the specs. I don't think. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I could have. I could have sleep better one of his Pokemon, but that's not. It's not funny. This should be follow me. I think. Yeah. Okay. Follow me comes out. So we're gonna take Tokyo's here, um, which is good. He goes for Snarl. All right. That, yeah. That was that was the correct play. Now is where things get interesting. Because now, he's gonna go to Renatar, and how much does Life Orb Dynamax Solar Beam do? Alright, Charizard versus Tyranitar in the sun. Solar Power. Life Orb. Dynamax. Tyranitar? Yeah, okay. Alright, how do we win this, everybody? How do we win this? Oh, uh, I don't think we can win this. Because I can hit this thing for a lot. Oh, I have Quick Claw. If I have Quick Claw, I can win this, right? I have Triple Fire type against his Tyranitar, which is a problem. Um, yeah, I... Because I could switch out, but he's just going to KO me, so... Yeah, I'm just going to switch to Torkoal and go for Max Overgrowth. It's not going to KO. Um, unless he's, like, no bulk. Oh, wait, this is again... Oh, wait, no, it never KOs. Um... We're gonna need some luck. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We're gonna need some luck here. Yeah, Tyranitar looks like a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, he has no reason not to Dynamax. Unless he messes up. If he messes up here, what he could do is he could just protect Tyranitar and not Dynamax. And go for Snarl. Tyranitar's a problem. Let's see what he goes for. Yeah, Max Rockfall overriding my son is a problem. The thing is, I do have Quick Claw, so I'm not that worried. Oh, Shiny, nice. Um, yeah, I do have Quick Claw, so I'm not that worried. Let's see what he goes for. No Dynamax, no Dynamax. No, Glows is cheating. Oh, Friend Ball Tyranitar, he's flexing. Alright, it's not over, it's not over. It's, it's not over, it's not looking great. Uh, but it, it is not over. My choice specs in Sinner did not, did not, uh, not KO Tokugos, unfortunately. Yeah, Tyranitar is a problem. That's what he goes for here. I mean, he kind of could just max, no, he's not going to max guard. Protects Arcanine, actually. I wonder if he's protecting with both. Nah, they wouldn't do that. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, no. Okay, wait, how much is this doing? That's not enough damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Well, I hope he I hope he thinks that I'm better than I am, because that would be really nice right now. He should just max Rockfall into my Charizard, though. He has weakness policy. That was expected. Um, max Rockfall. Oh, no. Into... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, Dynamax Tyranitar's cheating. Yeah, I might survive that. Just kidding. I don't survive that. All right. Now is where. Honestly, I think even if I get the Quick Claw and get an eruption off, I don't think it's enough to KO. Like, even with... Yeah, I don't think I, I, don't think I can KO Tyranitar. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't bring anything for Tyranitar. This team doesn't have anything for Tyranitar. I guess I could have done the Swamp. Maybe Primarina was better here. The Rainbow's not very good. Okay. So he knows that his Arcanine is faster than me. Oh, I forgot about the Burning Field. Wait a second, this isn't over. Oh, it's in range. It's definitely in range. Specs Dark Pulse plus Eruption. It's not in range. Um, here's the deal. All we have to do is get Quick Claw. If we get Quick Claw, we might be able to win this. Because all the last Pokemon lose to my Pokemon. You know? We don't really have a way to beat Arcanine, though. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, yeah. I really wanted to get G-Max Wildfire off and do both of them in the same turn. Alright, we are gonna we have to go over Dark Pulse here. I don't think we have another option. And we're just going to hope we win the Quick Claw race. Give me Quick Claw. Give me Quick Claw. Come on. Come on. Switches? No way! Durant, Durant, Durant. Oh. Okay, if I get Quick Claw, I could win this. That's so dumb. Ah, I need a quick claw. Min speed, min speed. No. No. I need a quick claw. That's so dumb. It glows a hex me. All right, eruption. It probably doesn't KO. Oh god, it doesn't even come close. Okay, I do have one more chance at uh at the burning field though, which is nice. I don't take an earth power. Or I have one more chance at quick claw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Listen, the Gloza counter me. I told the Gloza about this team, and I said, okay, Gloza, just like, just chill. But he didn't chill. No, he couldn't. A Gloza is not capable of chilling, apparently. He couldn't just let me do my pledge stuff. Okay. No, the fire is gone. All right, Torkoal. So Dynamax Trenitar is a problem when you play like I just did. Um, I was just trying to have fun. All right, give me the Quick Claw. Let's show off Quick Claw. Come on. Oh, I hope you stream this. No! <laughs> That's garbage. Oh, uh, bad game. Very bad game. All right, I'll be honest. Glosa was streaming, and when I saw he was streaming, I knew that I couldn't beat him. Like, it wouldn't, like not that I wasn't capable of it, but that it would be really unkind, right? Um, like, I don't know. Like, what if people unsub when he loses? So I figured, let's be nice. Let's toss, right? Let's let him win this one. It's that He, you know, Glosa was helpful in my road to number one with Leafeon. I'm happy to repay the favor. So, Alex, you're welcome. I held back a lot. Um, it was hard, honestly, to lose that game, but I, you know, when you're a player of my caliber, you know, you can lose really anything if you try hard enough. So, that one, please discount it. Don't consider it in the consideration of this team, okay? We had fun, and that's what matters. A Gloza counter-teaming us and still managing to win is just disappointing. Um, but let's see what we're up against next. Pokerap, another very high-ranked opponent. Let's see if this person is, is a coward and has Tyranitar. That's a problem. Um, okay, they also... So my lighting doesn't like to stay up, it likes to fall over actually, and it happens very frequently. So we're going to deal with that later. I don't know why falling apart, but okay. Um, at least it didn't knock anything over this time. Okay, so this is a Trick Room team, it, by the looks of it. Uh, this is probably also a Trick Room team with in... My team doesn't have very much for Trick Room, does it? I'm going to do the same lead. I kind of want to bring the same Pokemon. Like, I still don't have anything for Tyranitar, but that's kind of a team issue. I, do, are there any other pledges I want to use? Like, I could use... Ooh, I could do Incineroar Primarina and get the Rainbow. The Rainbow's not very good here. Um, I don't think they're going to go for Hard Trick Room into me. Because... Okay, I, I need to actually be smart against about the Tyranitar. Um, so that might be I need to bring Primarina. Frankly, I don't need the Wildfire to win this game, right? But I know I should definitely bring Torkoal versus a Trick Room team, even though I max speed Torkoal. Um, Torkoal definitely feels good here. Man, that, uh, that, that, oh, I'm almost out of time. I'm gonna try, Char I'm just gonna try the same Pokemon. I know that I still don't have anything for Tyranitar if it Dynamaxes, but that's a problem for later. That is a problem for later, my friends. The, the, I really want to get my duel, my duel, uh... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been, maybe I shouldn't have been Scarf on Venusaur. Actually, I just, I just had a huge brain idea on how to improve this. Alright, alright, I know how to improve the team. Oh my god, I feel so smart. Okay, I know how to improve the team. I'm gonna do it right after this game, actually. I know exactly what to do. Oh, I feel so big brain. 
Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're still gonna win this game anyway. Um, them Dynamaxing Lapras is not a big deal. Let's hit them with Sleep Powder on Lapras. Ah, uh, let's let's Incinero with Sleep Powder actually. And we're gonna hit them with Snarl. I mean, very likely that this Incinero has goggles, right? We're gonna Sleep Powder and Snarl, I think. Well, we can worry about the field later. I'm just gonna put everything to sleep and then go from there. The Gigantamax, presumably Lapras. So this is good for us. Don't get me wrong. This is extremely good because... Ooh. Well... I don't know what to make of that one. Um, all I know is that I don't have the field. The Burning Field. Oh, are they gonna attack themselves? No, they can't. Lapras protects itself. So I sleep out of the wrong Pokemon is what I learned today. And I almost, you know, you guys saw me. I almost hit Incineroar too. Um, Incineroar is a problem. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if I had my proper team, if I had the proper item, I've been playing at half power. We're about to go to full power. You'll see. Flare comes out. All right, cool. So presumably this is gonna KO my Venusaur. That's unfortunate, bro. Um, I think their Incineroar might be physical, if I had to guess. All right, I'm gonna go into my Charizard here. Now, I think it's extremely likely that likely that Lapras switches to Tyranitar here, uh, which isn't a huge deal. Don't get me wrong; it's not like that big of a deal if Lapras switches to Tyranitar. I'm gonna go for the G Max Wildfire, and I have no choice. I actually have to Snarl again, which is unfortunate. Um, but I can't switch into Torkoal because I think Tyranitar is coming in, so I need to wait a turn. This is still very winnable. My Incineroar would win beat the opposing Incineroar because I have I'll have Sun Up and Blast Burn and stuff. Um, and Dark Pulse, and I'm max, I'm max speed, no bulk, so I can flinch them. Like, look at how much that Snarl did to their Dynamax and Um, yeah, I think it's a solid start, even though the turn one didn't go exactly as we wanted it. And also, they're kind of playing it as if it is, um... They actually just stay in. They're kind of playing as if it's Safety Goggles and Cinero, which would mean no recovery. Let's see who they go into next. So I, I should KO Lapras this turn, I'd be shocked if I don't. Let's see if I have the candy, I do. Very nice. And I'm gonna get the Wildfire up, so I still get the passive damage effect, which is nice. They do not go for the double. G-Max Wildfire should definitely KO Lapras. Thank you for playing. And now we get single target Snarl, everybody. Crit didn't matter. Charizard's KO on that thing every day of the week. And their Incineroar is intimidated, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Snarl's gonna come out here, gonna do huge damage. We're chipping this thing down. Three fire types versus Incineroar. But we're doing damage. This should be max darkness. Yep, that's fine. Now, I am gonna take a lot of passive damage. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah, that's nothing. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Um, special defense. Oh, special defense. It's not even powering itself up. Alright, now this turn we can switch out. This turn we can switch out, which is nice. Um, I don't think there's that many Pokemon that could come in that uh, they could go into that'd be super threatening. Mimic you would probably be the worst one. Yeah, that's the worst one. Maybe we shouldn't switch out then. Um, I'm gonna do this thing with Airstream and sn I think I just Snarl again, honestly. I know it's a little weird, but uh, I don't. Oh, wait, they're not gonna Trick Room here, are they? They might Trick Room here. They might. I think they're gonna try and Trick Room and then go into uh, Tyranitar and beat me, and I can't really stop that. Is Snarl better then, or is switching out better? Yeah, they're, that's their plan, I guess. I'm gonna snarl. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Smart, smart using Mimikyu. I got Airstream off, so now my Incineroar will outspeed their Mimikyu, I think. I could have smacked their Incineroar as well, but... Um, actually, maybe I should have hit their Incineroar. Because it's not like... If I was gonna stay in and snarl, it might have been better to get damage on that thing. Um... This isn't over, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use my last turn to set up the max overgrowth. Snarl comes out. Lots of damage to Mimikyu. Okay, if Mimikyu moves next, that's good. If Incineroar moves next, that's very bad. Yeah, I think maybe smacking Incineroar was better that turn. Okay, they're going for Trick Room. Ah! <laughs> uh, 190 down to 21, alright. Yikes. Alright, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna use max overgrowth to try and KO Mimikyu this turn. I don't know if we can survive, though. Trick room comes out. Alright, this is difficult. I'm not gonna lie. This is very difficult. Um, let's see. 
see a fire. I have one turn left of Gigantamax. Um, oof. That's all I'm saying. Oof. I should take hits from both these Pokemon, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Max Overgrowth into... What should I do here? Incineroar? Just, just to make sure that it stays in the field for another turn. And then I'm gonna go Torkoal. I think, realistically, I'm about to get double attacked. Um, with both Pokemon. Which is fine. It's not amazing, but it is fine. This is a bad time to be max speed in Sonora. It's Trick Room. Uh, they stayed in with both Pokemon. Oh, wait, no, they might have already shot it. Never mind. Darkest Lariat? Okay, that's bad. Uh, come on. Play rough. Okay. Oh, okay, good switch by me. Thank you, Wolf. Extremely cool. Now, I could have KO'd the Incineroar here, but I think my win condition is I need to get this thing out of... Oh, no, my Charizard's gonna die. Ah! I didn't think about the recoil. How much do I take there? Oh, God, I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I need I need Charizard to survive here. Okay, okay, I got... I, okay, I still got it. I still got it. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Their incinerator is too fast! Oh my god, are too slow. My Torkoal's too fast. My Torkoal's faster than their Incineroar. All right, we the way that we win this is we. It's gonna be really difficult to win this, isn't it? All right. Um. Well. What if the last Pokemon's not Tyranitar? What if it's like Reuniclus? That'd be cool. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult to win. I have to switch into my Specs Incineroar and go for Eruption. I have really no other play. Oof, that was close. That's this is looking rough. Um, if I can get them down to a two versus two. Oh wait, I can still win with Torkoal, right? If I just, cause my Incineroar should beat their Incineroar. Maybe with Dark Pulse, right? Okay, they've stayed in with Mimikyu. I go into Incineroar. Maybe I actually don't want to burn Trick Room Charters. Maybe I want to get Torkoal in under Grassy Terrain and hope that it KOs. It's not gonna KO. No Bulk Incineroar comes in. Shadow Sneak comes out into Charizard. Okay, so they should get rid of Mimikyu this turn. Let's see what they went for. Parting Shot would be bad. Oh, they finally go for it. Yep. All right, but that's okay. I did switch out, so that's at least something. Um, yeah, I think I lose. This should be Tyranitar, most likely. If it's like Reuniclus, the whole game is different, but I'm pretty sure it's Tyranitar. They're thinking, they're thinking. It's... Wait a second. Hold on. Okay, wait. This game just changed. Now, the problem is I am still max speed Torkoal, and that has not that has not changed since the last time we talked. Um, I do also have Quick Claw in play, which is very valuable in this instance. The sun is gone, though. Um, is that good or bad for me? It makes my Torkoal a lot weaker. But I think... Nah, attacks. Alright, so my Burning Field isn't doing anything. Like, I'm trying to think if my Incineroar will beat their remaining Pokemon. Or can my Incineroar beat their remaining Pokemon, I guess. Um... So, because I can switch out and then come back in, and I can KO Reuniclus with a Dark, with a, with a dark Pulse. Um, the only question is, does Reuniclus have Focus Blast? Have a feeling it probably does. Let's see. Two turns left to Trick Room. Alright, I have to switch out and sack my Charizard here. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Heat Wave. Try and get some damage on the field. Um, I think I probably die to Psychic. I'm just hoping that they double Incineroar here, because if you're my opponent, you've got to be worried about Incineroar, right? Like, Torkoal's minus one and not really a threat. Um... Incineroar, on the other hand, is a problem. Incineroar, on the other hand, is a huge problem. I kind of regret setting the grass up. I was assuming they had Charizard or, or, Tor or Tyranitar as the last Pokemon, but they don't. So I'm going to switch my max speed Incineroar out and go into Charizard. Uh, let's see what happens next. This should be Fake Out, I think. They go for Fake Out into Charizard. All right, so now, do they go for Psychic or do they go for Focus Blast? If they have Focus Blast, we're in trouble. Kind of bad both ways. They go for Psychic. Really regret st uh, not protecting. I think I die. I die too dark psychic because I am an idiot. Alright, let's see if my Specs Incineroar can 1v2 this team. I'm assuming their Incineroar is Goggles. That's kind of the one thing I'm hoping for. I think, honestly, if they miss a Focus Blast, like if it if I can get through this turn without Reuniclus doing damage, maybe. Like it's not it's not gonna be easy. But I mean they're intimidated and I'm Specs. So like damage output wise, I should be winning. Against their Incineroar. The only problem is do they have a berry, but I really have faith that my Specs and Cinerare, because of all the merch you guys bought, can beat this this team. They don't know I'm Specs either, so. Oh, what if they. Oh, no, 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 no! Yes! Incineroar is so good! Oh, no, they can do that! Okay, um. Focus Blast misses, but they have Parting Shot, which is something I hadn't considered. 
Now, Specs Dark Pulse, but minus one. It probably won't KO. That's unfortunate, bro. All right. That's the end of Trick Room, though. We can do this. We can do this. They're going to drop my stats, but here's the thing. Their stats are dropped as well, right? And I can flinch. That's a big deal here. Trick Room is over. Grass is over. No, I have one turn left of Grass, which is, I guess, fine. I'm in Dark Pulse Arena close again. Um, they're just, I think they're just going to Parting Shot me a bunch. I think. I'm not, I'm really not sure. I mean, I guess they don't really have anything better to do. They, I hope they're running Calcs right now in Incineroar versus Rando Close and being like, why did Dark Pulse do so much damage? Max Speed, uh, I'm no Bulk Incineroar, that is a problem. But I am Specs, which is strong. And I can flinch. <laughs> Specs, Dark Pulse, Incineroar. No Protect come out, Rando don't normally run it, that's why I didn't read your, uh, anything there in Incineroar read. It's Incineroar versus Incineroar. Chat, who's gonna win? My Incineroar with Specs, or their Incineroar with whoever knows. All right, I'm minus two there, minus one. I just need some crits and flinches, and Grassy Train is over. So they have 75% health, maybe a little more, 70% or 80% health. Grass is gone. I'm minus two, and they're minus one. But I have, and I'm moving first with no bulk and specs, which is so I'm basically at slightly like I don't even want to think about it. All right, let's just go for Dark Pulse. I hope this does like 20. If it does 10, we're gonna be in trouble. Specs Dark Pulse is not gonna do very much. Oh, we're in trouble. Flinch. Okay, they're going to Lariat. Ah, uh, this is going to do way more than mine. I don't know if we can win this. I think we need a crit. But then again, that doesn't do that much either. And we do have the... Like, we're definitely losing this encounter. But when you consider the chance of flinch... It's not... Like, it's not as bad as it looks. It depends if they have a berry. I can also just crit them. See, that one did damage. That one did damage. Why are they not flinching? That's two without a flinch. Alright, hang on. I gotta do this properly. The timing is important. Alright, so we're, we're very rapidly losing this battle. Um, but if I just do it right, hang on, I gotta get the timing right, I think it's right, one, two, three, okay, this should be the flinch, alright, must have messed up the timing, alright, we're losing this battle a little bit disturbingly quickly, I've used three dark pulses and a flinch, none of them, and now we're at even health, when I started with a 20% advantage, so I need a crit or a flinch now, I feel like I can get it, oh, I didn't clap, I snapped, that's why. It's a little early, but I think I think it's in the window. Bro, what is this garbage game? Four attacks and no flinches? You're telling me the, there's a... Oh, wait a second. That didn't do any damage. All right, we're still narrowly winning this. If they have a berry, it's going to be very disheartening. It's going to be very disheartening. <laughs> Crit! I didn't do very much. Flinch, flinch, flinch. This... I'm glad this is recorded because why? Five. Five consecutive attacks, no flinch. Alright, I I think we're even at health now. So, the problem is, my next attack, because of the Gambler's Fallacy, is only 30% chance to flinch. Give me a crit. There we go. No berry, no berry, no berry. Crit. Why would you Dynamax your Incineroar in front of a Venusaur if you had a berry and not goggles? Alright, we're going to lose this unless we get the flinch. There we go. Okay, Incineroar start. Okay. Incineroar, we're still losing. We're still losing, but if we get a couple more flinches, I think we can do it. Let's see. We have 66 health left. Give me another crit. I deserve it. No crit. All right, give me a flinch. That's garbage. Okay. One out of seven. All right, 66 down to 44 to 20. All right, the problem is that they can flare bliss me too. Uh, so I think they kill me in two or three, and I'm going to kill them in like five. So I need a crit right now or another flinch just to buy me some time. No flint, no crit. What? <laughs> what is this? Like, actually, what is this? One flinch out of all this. All right, that one did 23, so I think this is the end of the game. Can we get some Fs in the chat, please? This was so annoying. This is such a frustrating game to lose. Crit. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. I deserve it. This is so dumb! I hit eight of them and I didn't flinch any? I flinched one? I literally can't believe this person led Incinera Lapras and went for max Incinera turn one. Well, good game. I mean... That's stupid. That's actually stu I'm actually bummed by that. To be fair, they missed a Focus Blast, but to be fair, they used Focus Blast, so... Anyway, okay. Guys, normally I would end the video here. I'd go 0-2 and I would end the video. But I want you to know, this was just to root out the people who weren't loyal fans, right? I wanted to see who would watch past the point... Right? Of me losing, right? So now that only the... Now that all the fakes are... Now that the people... The fickle fans are out of the way, I'm gonna show you guys the actual strategy. 
right? This is this is a mid episode ending. So let's see here. We're looking for one specific move, and that's right. We're looking for protect Weenusaur. We don't need Weather Ball. I literally can't believe I just went like eight or nine Dark Pulses and got one flinch. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back in here. And we're just gonna go ahead and deposit Venusaur back. Let's see. No. We're gonna deposit Venusaur here, but we're not just gonna do that. We're also gonna go ahead and hit move this. Uh, just here for now. Doesn't really matter. And we're looking for one specific item. I know the rental code is wrong. The rental code is for the fakes. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay. So, now we're changing things. So now, I'm going to show you the real strategy with this team. Now now that we're actually getting serious, to the serious part of the video. Okay, so, so far what you've been watching is me playing with a bad team, right? Or a team that is hard to use and also, like, my opponents hack me. Especially a Um, Now, what's going to happen is, I'm going to show you my, my, my no-holds-barred approach. I've only changed one, dang it. I've only changed one thing, right? It doesn't seem like it should be a big deal. So, I mean, surely just adding Protect on Venusaur and giving it a Focus Action to the Choice Scarf, it can't be that big a deal, right? I don't think anybody thinks that it's that big of a deal just to change the item. It's just an item and one move. What, what difference could it make? Minato, the Yellow Flash himself. This person! I played them twice on stream. Oh my God. But the problem is I know all their sets. So, we're going to show them. No, that's not what we're doing. I'm going to show them my power. No Tyranitar. Man, this team is terrible. Pledge a matchup with only one immunity. Now, this team is interesting because it has... Um, uh, it has Taunt Corviknight and Sub Leftovers Dracozolt. But what does it have for a well-played max speed Torkoal? Answer me that. And if they lead Excadrill, by the way, my plan is just win the Quick Claw. Use Quick Claw. Just in case anyone was curious. Because that's that's the plan. Anybody can win when, when things are certain, right? Who can win when you're dealing with Quick Claw? When there's variants involved. This is the proper training for VGC. Luck is a skill. Luck is a skill, and if you don't agree with me, watch my turn one. Seeing the future is also a skill. For just for the record. Alright, Minato. Dragazult, Corviknight, leading. I wonder if they're gonna lead. They always let Dragazult, Corviknight versus me. I don't know what they do versus Torkoal Venusaur. And they go, go ahead and lead off with... Clefairy and Dragazult. Okay, cool. So, the plan is simple. I think Dragazult has Taunt. Now, I'm going to win the speed... So, I have a couple options here. I'm going to Sleep Powder into one of these Pokemon. I think Dragazult. Um, and I'm going to Eruption as well. Now, Eruption might not look as good as Heat Wave here. However, because I have Quick Claw, I know that I can move first. Yeah, and now I have the ability to change my, my moves with... I can play a little... I can play better with my Pledges. So, I, I put myself in a position where... Pledges are now more threatening. Because I, I can... Now that I've set Sun up as well, I can actually KO stuff with Incineroar. Um, yeah. I told you. I, I, I told you before the game even started. Don't look at me like that. Don't act surprised. I told you what was happening. You. Oh, wait. What do I have for Drigazol? If they still have train. I don't care about Drigazol. I'm just going to beat it. Follow me. Yep. I maybe should have considered KOing Clefairy with Sludge Bomb Eruption here, but uh, I thought just in case I'd put him to sleep. Big damage there. Sleep Powder comes out. This will miss. Psych! Nap time. Now, Torkoal's gonna go down here, most likely, uh, even though... Let's see. They actually go for Airstream. Alright, cool. That was not the right move. Because I'm Sash Venusaur now, and as you can tell, things are different. <clears throat> you guys want me to get a second Quick Claw? 
Like, I'm not opposed to it. I feel kind of bad, but I'm really not opposed. If you guys want it, I can go for it. Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, this is a different team than the last one I played. Did not realize that. Definitely have been playing as if it's still sub leftovers. Drigazzle. Okay, so the key here is... I'm just going to sleep pad eruption. If I miss sleep powder, I'll be in a bit of trouble, um, but not that much. I still have my Specs and Cinerar, who should be able to beat everything. Yeah, Sash Venus are already doing much better than Scarf. Scarf is not really needed on this team, I think. Scarf is not really needed. So now they're kind of worried. They don't have a way to KO me with Sand. Um, they switch out Clefairy, so something's taking an eruption. I wonder if I'll get another Quick Claw. I don't really need it this turn, but it is nice, like, insult injury. Oh, maybe they'll max guard. I hadn't really considered that. Max Guard comes out. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, I didn't get the Quick Claw because, yeah, there's no purpose in this turn. This turn, they're going to go for Fake Out into Venusaur and uh, Max Lightning. Ooh, Dracozult's actually kind of scary, isn't it? Alright, my Torkoal with Quick Claw does a little bit of damage. Um, so, I definitely don't want my Venusaur to go down here. The question, I think realistically they're going to attack my Torkoal with Max Lightning because it covers pretty much everything. Um, what it doesn't have, what it, well, what it doesn't cover is this, which is switch out your Torkoal into Incineroar to set up for pledges. Yeah, if they go for Max Lightning into my uh, Venusaur, I'm going to be in kind of trouble. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble, truthfully. I'll have to go for, uh, for, <laughs> for some cheeky Incineroar stuff at that point, but I think realistically you've got no reason not to fake out Venusaur and Max Lightning into Incineroar. Um, you're faster, or like, I don't know. I guess you could Max Airstream again, but it's very risky. Um, because I don't think you want to take any more Torkoal attacks. Let's see. Fake out should come out into Venusaur, Wenyasaur, and let's see what they go for. This should be Max Lightning. It could be Airstream as well, though. Lightning comes out into... Ah, I made a... Okay, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Here's the thing, though. Hustle isn't 100% accurate. Um, they probably can just go back in Clefairy. All right, that was bad. I could have switched Incineroar into that slot and Eruptioned again. I guess I should have made a hard read there. Um, they are at a Dynamax, so now I have to choose... Are they going to protect themselves this turn? I'm going to Char. So now I have my three fire types, as usual. So I've ended up in the same position. Uh, this is kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, if I if I take a... The problem is I don't know if Dragozol is going to protect itself. Uh, like, I want to go for Protect and Dark Pulse here. I mean, from their perspective, they don't know that I don't have Fake Out. So I'm going to try and actually read them to Protect. And I'm going to try and cover both options with Airstream and Dark Pulse here. Um, it could very well backfire, but the other thing that we're working with is that Hustle is... If I had Fake Out here, I think this is a guaranteed win. Because I Fake Out Dragozol and Max Airstream into Incineroar and then win the game from there. Um... However, in this situation where uh, I don't have Fake Out on my Incineroar because I'm Specs, it gets a little harder because, um, well, they could just attack with Dracozult, but the thing is, Hustle can miss. That's my plan here. So, I have two options. Number one, they do they make the, the good play in most situations, which is they protect their Dracozult. I'm a little worried that they stayed in here. Please protect Dracozult. We know you have max card. We don't know if you have protect. Um, that Airstream boost they got earlier is quite problematic. Not gonna lie. All right, Charizard will not take a Bolt Beak here at all, but Bolt Beak can miss. Okay, I really want to see Protect from Protect, Protect, Protect. Okay, <laughs> I am the greatest Pokemon player. Blah 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 blah. Yes, and I'm gonna get my Airstream off, and this will kill Incineroar. Wow, it's a Soul Fest. Never mind. <clears throat> Dang, that's Sun boosted too. That's crazy. That's Sun and Life Orb boosted. Am I missing something? It didn't get a boost, did it? No. It's gonna be Snarl, I guess. Oh no, and Snarl hits both my Pokemon. Ah! <laughs> oh, you turn. Okay, whoo! I was worried. I was very worried. Um, I don't know if GMAX Wildfire is gonna KO. There. I think I have one turn left with Sun, right? There was three turns. Yeah, I should have one turn left. I don't know if GMAX Wildfire is gonna KO their Dragozolt. I'm gonna be honest. It's only 130 base power. Okay. Max Wildfire in the sun with Life Orb. I mean, according to this, it big KOs. It, like, huge KOs. What about with Frank Guard up? 
Yeah, according to this, a big KO. So I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for G-Max Wildfire. Into Dracozolt and... Oh, God. Uh, I guess Dark Pulse into Dracozolt as well, just in case. Okay, they go for Follow Me, but that's the first turn of Sleep. I go for G-Max Wildfire. In the Sun, according to my calculations, this should KO. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. And now we got the Sea of Fire, or the burning, the G-Max Wildfire. Get some, some chip damage on the recoil side, and we get our Dark Pulse off. So again, if we had gotten the, imagine we'd gotten the, the, uh, oh my god, that did so much damage. Wait, I think that put in a range of, oh my god, I think that put in a range of Wildfire. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Specs and Zinner are so good. Specs and Zinner are so good. <laughs> I'm bummed I haven't I haven't gotten to use this Avala yet. Alright, who is it? We know the Amazonar and who's the last Pokemon? Most Pokemon will just fold here. Corvette, that's an unfortunate Pokemon to have, bro. Yeah, this game is over, unfortunately. Um I can kinda do whatever I want, truthfully. I have one turn left to Gigantamax. I kinda wanna hit the Corviknight. No, I'm gonna actually airstream the, the Incineroar, because I think there's a good chance that my Torkoal will then outspeed their Corviknight, which is extremely funny to me. Okay, they forfeit. All right, cool. So, as you can see, making that change was a big deal. Having Being able to have Sash on Venusaur is very valuable uh, on this team. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, oh my gosh. And I didn't even get to do... I haven't really gotten to show off like any of my real tricks with this team. I've just been kind of playing it the same way. So, we'll do one more. We'll do two with fake team and now two with... Uh, two with real team. Let's see. Let's see. Now we're showing... I'm showing off full power now. Full power team. All right, let's see. There's a good amount of wins on the board. Who dares? Give me a Gloza again. That'd be so fitting. Emily, Emily, Lore. Okay, not who we were looking for. Whoo boy. So with this team, couple interesting things to note. It's very weak to my Pokemon. We're gonna do the same thing again as we've been doing. I know it's a little. I know it's a little creative. Here's the thing. Why do they have Dust Gloves on this team? Just just like self proc uh or er, weakness policy? Um on Dragapult maybe? So it's probably weakness policy Dragapult. Here's the thing. Grass Pledge Venusaur into uh into like burning field, I think will KO Togekiss in the sun. I think Sun boosted Incineroar. Can, can Oko Togekiss with Burning Field, with with the Pledges. So that's what we're going for here. We're going to check out Incineroar. Incineroar, blank set, versus Togekiss. We're going to give it Blast Burn, which is, and it's actually slightly stronger than this. Blast Burn, nope. We're going to give it Fire Blast. Blast Burn's not in the calculator. Fire Blast, 160 base power. Not a max move. In the Sun, with Choice Specs. 2 Vidigi Special Attack, Modest. It look, uh, looks like... It oh, that's with Frengard? Oh my god. It KOs with Frengard? Oh god, yeah. So Togekiss dies in the sun to Max Flare. So, we're gonna... The way that I'm trying to play this team is I want to, like, lead Venus or Torkoal as if it's at the threat, but the real threat is the sun boosted Incineroar on turn two. So you lead Torkoal, you switch it out and protect? Maybe? And then you go for Grass Pledge, Fire Pledge turn two. And just KO Togekiss. And then go from there. Dust Clubs and Dragapult. Okay, so this really looks to me like they want to side weakness policy stuff. Um, Shadow Sneak and then, yeah, weakness policy. So, a couple things worth noting here. Um, it's pressure, Dust Clubs, and not Frisk. Okay, so I was going to sleep out of the Dust Clubs and make a read. Um, I kind of want to just hit the Dragapult because I think there's a good chance they don't protect. But then again, if they're this high on their ladder, I'm sure they'll protect. So I'm going to Sleep Powder and Eruption. The reason I'm using Eruption over Heat Wave here is because of Quick Claw. Quick Claw allows me to move before uh, my opponents do and get an attack off. It's pretty valuable in situations like these where my Torkoal is actually a pretty slow Pokemon. Or slower than Dragapult at least. Um, and if I hit Dusclops with Eruption, I think it will put in a range of Pledges. Which is, again, the goal. So let's see what they go for here. Um, Venus, this looks, this team looks like it has a bad Venusaur matchup, so, um, like I said, Quick Call allows me to move first. They actually Dynamax something, probably Dragapult. So I do really regret, uh, 
not just sleep patterning the, the Dragapult, because I don't know what their plan was. But, okay, Di Dra Dragapult Dynamaxes, that's fine, I guess. This is probably going to be side Shadow Sneak, if I had to guess. Or Ally Switch, wait a second. Shadow Sneak into themselves, yep, like I predicted. Very risky play, in my opinion. Um, extremely risky. Because I could have just sleep out of that slot. I gave him maybe too much credit. Let's see if I even hit my sleep header, but I'm, I'm feeling like I will. Eruption comes out next, thanks to Quick Claw allowing me to move first. I do a lot of damage, etc., etc. And now we go for sleep powder. Let's see if we connect. We do connect, so Dust Club's taking a nap. Nap time. So, of course, in theory, this is threat. This is, like, not a good position to be in. Into Venus Oral. That's not good for them. We call an ambulance. But not for me! So I think I'm just going to Sleep Powder Eruption again. What are they going to do about it? I don't know. We're going to Sleep Powder again. And Eruption again. They could take out Torkoal, but that allows me to go Incineroar, which allows me to get Pledges. And then, uh, yeah. Then we go like, because Dusclops is 100% in Fire Pledge range, if we get the Grass Pledge off first. Um, and we've burned a turn of their Dynamax, which is very valuable. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. Give me another Quick Claw. Just kidding. I don't, it doesn't really matter here, like, because of how they're going to play. Do they Incineroar on this team? Are they going to do the same thing that I just witnessed, which is switch out Dusclops, go to Incineroar? Because that could be bad. No, okay. They don't protect. They go for Shadow Sneak. I go for Sleep Powder. I connect. Okay. Do they have Incineroar on this team? I don't think they do. Yeah, like I said, I didn't really want the Quick Claw this turn. You have to, you have to use this, you know, use it appropriately. All right, Eruption does a ton of damage. Um, so, okay, there's I have a couple options here. There is three turns of Sun left. Um, a double turn, one turn, one wake up could be bad. The thing is, like, I'm not that worried about it. I'm actually just going to protect an Eruption here. The reason is Dusclops is going to wake up, which is bad for me, but I will get my Quick Claw off. Oh, I actually don't get the Quick Claw off somehow. I think the game might be bugged. Um, Dusclops stays asleep as well, so I didn't need to protect here. Let's see if Dragapult stays asleep. Okay, yeah, they get the double sleep, which is good. I'm still just trying to set up for this Incineroar, uh, though at this point I don't know what's going to happen. I think the game knows when I need Quick Claw, or like, when Quick Claw will be good for me, and then it gives me appropriate, like, accordingly. So, Dragapult also, so I've used all their Dynamax turns, and now Dragapult is in range of the Burning Field, which is quite nice. Um, or G-Max Wildfire. So if I get either one of them off, we'll be fine. Token gives us the switch in. Uh, this thing doesn't have anything for... Well, any of my Pokemon. I could Sleep Powder it. I could Sludge Powder it. Sludge Bomb it. Um, if I, if I don't stop messing around soon, though, I might lose. So I'm actually going to Sludge Bomb the Dragapult this turn and go for another Eruption. Um, thanks, thanks to whoever people Max my name. Torkoal. You're a homie. Um, I guess to Dragapult waking up and getting the one turn. Okay, they follow me here, so I'm glad I Sludge Bombed. Um, oh, I don't get the Quick Claw. Maybe that was a, maybe that's a, a bug. I am gonna get the Sludge Bomb off here. Bop. Does a lot of damage. They hit the three turn sleep. We go for Heat Wave. That's what we get for not having faith. Oh, no, Eruption. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, I still want my Incineroar points. So, uh, yeah, I'm still gonna go Incineroar and try and get the Pledges off. I think I have one more turn left of Sun. Wait, Pressure was actually really good against my Eruption. Wait, no, this is the second to last turn of Sun. Okay. So how do I get my... I want to use my... They're probably just going to forfeit, which is a bit of a drag, but whatever. Escadrill comes in. Okay, cool. They're Mole Breaker as well. Oh, actually, I don't... Honestly, guys, I don't even... I, I genuinely don't even need Sun. I can just KO this with, with Specs and Sonora. So I'm going to go in Sin here. Hopefully they don't forfeit. I think they will, though. Okay, they stay in. They're, they're ready to 1v4 me with Sin with uh, Escadrill. Oh, wait a second, though. Oh, wait, if the Sun ends, my Venusaur is not faster anymore. Hmm. How do I do this? I protect. Okay. Maybe they'll protect too. Yeah, okay. They protect and fail. The sun is gone. This is going to be hard, I think. I'm just going to go for... You know what? I'm just going to Grass Pledge, Fire Pledge here. Like, I don't know... If I, I wish I had a switching move right now. Like, Parting Shot on this on this Or like, maybe our Blast Burn. The fire Pledge is so strong. Ah, it's too fast. Sinner almost died to that, too. Yeah, I messed up my sun turns, but at least I could smack them with Fire Pledge. Let's see if they're Life Orb. kind of feel like they are. All right, do you think it's... Press 1 if you think it's Sinner Fire Pledge. Oh, goes Excadrill. I hope you pressed 1. And that's the game. So, um, yep, Specs and Sinner, you know, goes to town. 
We went 2-2 overall, but we went 2-0 with the updated version, which is, again, much stronger. Um, I didn't even get to show off all the tricks, so let me know if you want to see this team again on the channel. Um, because I have a lot of fun using it, and I didn't even show off all the things I intended to, so... Um, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Mm, goodbye.